Yeah, so you are right, what you have done is so integral from 0 to m fx dx that is 0 to m where fx is 4 cos x 1 minus 3 cos 2x plus 3 cos squared 2x minus cos cube 2x dx that is equal to 0 to m 4 cos x now the entire thing is that formula okay, so 8 sin 6 x dx so 8 into 4 is 32 0 m cos x sin 6 x dx why is it 8 for the 32. Oh, you can do that. Yeah, the numbers you can combine. No? These are multiples. And that, that is a, a, a this, you inter, this you can remove that out. Now, what do you do? Now, you have to integrate this. You use substitution. What will you substitute you as? Sine. Correct. No. Cosine. You will integrate the sine. Always you have to always substitute in the bigger part. So let u be equal to sin x. So, so du by dx. Derivative of sin x is what? Derivative cos x. So 1 over cos x. So du upon cos x is equal to dx. Correct? So it's going to be 2 integral m0. So that's 32 integral 0 m. Cosine x. So, cos x u raised to 6 du over cos x. So, this in this cancel. So, that's what 32 u raised to 7 over 7. Correct? M u. Correct? So, 32 over 7. Now, put your u back. Use what? So 32 over 7, correct? Sine 7m minus sine 7 0 and sine 0 0. Since sine 0 is 0. So we'll be left with sine this. Way. So part, part 2, listen, listen, part 2, part 2, your integral of m to pi by 2. Correct? fx dx, if you is equal to 127, that's there. But what is the integral of fx we got? 32 over 7. 32 over 7. 7. Correct? Sin 7x. Correct? Yes. And so now this. 7. Sin, sin raised to 7. I mean. Right? And pi n now this will one will be? Isn't it sin 7m? Or sin 7x? Excellent, this one. Yes. The integral I'm looking at. I'm looking at this one. This is your integral is this. Oh. This is your this is the integral. This I'm, I'm looking at this. This is the main thing I'm looking at. Correct? And then whatever the limits are, you substitute that. Now what do you do? What I do? Yeah. So 32 by 7. So sine pi by 2 raised to 7 minus sin m raised to 7 and this is equal to what? 1 to 7 over 28. Sin 90 is 1. Yeah. Sin 90 is 1. So therefore, so 1 raised to 7 minus sin m raised to 7 will be equal to 127 over 28 into 7 over 32. 7 4 that 28. Correct? So 1 minus sin m raised to 7 will be equal to 127 over 4 3 that 1 4 2 8. Correct? So 1 minus 127 over 128. So we will sign m raised to 7. So that's 1 over 128. So, uh, yeah. Correct? 
7 if you take the lcm sin m raised to 7 this is 1 over 2 raised to 7 is it So one minus sine m raised to seven is going to one two seven over one twenty eight. So one minus one two seven over one twenty eight equals sine m raised to seven. That's one twenty eight. So sine m, yeah, two okay. is equal. So sine m is equal to half. What's my domain given to be? 0 to pi by 2. So, so 0 to pi by so sine 30. 30 is pi by 6. B is 5, 2. So, so first part you got something working around. So, B is 5, 2. So, you just equate and basically solve. Yeah. Correct. So you equate your fx with gx. When you equate your fx with gx and you solve, you know you this is a factor that you given to you. So one of them. So five. What did you tell me? B. Five comma two. Okay. So once you get your five, you can put it in any equation to get your other one. Then, in the following diagram, uh, the shaded edges are enclosed by the graph of f. This is f graph of f. Correct the graph of G. Correct the x axis and line x is equal to k. So, this is the region enclosed. Yeah. The, the area of the shaded region is given by ln, ln p plus 8, where p belongs to a set of integers. Find the value of k and value of p. Correct. Now, what, the, what are the uh, what will this area be? You can write f as the integral sign. Yeah. After you write k, you write 0. No, this we have done the sum. So, to find the area of the shaded region, you have to find the value of k and p. This is your g. Correct? Yeah. This is the region under g. Correct? Your a ka coordinate is 3 and b ka coordinate is 5. So, if I look at a1, one so a, a1 is equal to half into base into height, you can do that, correct? So, half base is 2 and height is your, so this b is 5 comma 2, so basically your height, height is 2 basically. So, base is 5 minus, 5 minus 3 which is 2 and height is, height is this, this is 2 basically, correct? Because the y coordinate is 2, so this is 2. Now, if you are looking at a2, a2 you have to integrate it from 5 to k. You integrate it from 5 to k. And this function, this function is what? Which one? 1 over x minus 4. That's your g. That's f. f. F I believe. Yeah, f. So 1 over x minus 4 plus 1. X minus 4 plus 1. Correct dx. So, what is that integral of that? So, this is ln x minus 4, correct? Yeah. Plus, what is the integral of x? This is k5. Oh, hmm? yeah. So, ln k minus 4 plus k so plus minus upper limit minus the lower limit. ln 1, correct? Because 5 minus 4 is 1 plus 5. Yeah. So ln k minus 4 plus k ln 1 is 0, so minus 5. Now this is equal to what? So now what can you do? K minus 4 is equal to p. So k minus 4 is equal to p. So k minus 5 is equal to p. Correct. K minus 4 is equal to p. And k minus 5 is equal to 8. So k is equal to 8 and 5 is 13. Correct? So this 13 minus 4 is equal to p. So p is equal to 9. I have one question. Yeah, you are right. I missed this. I missed this. So 2 plus. So the total area could be. So this is there. 
So the total area is 2 plus this. So you have to add 2. I missed that up. Plus 2. Correct? Yeah. So this will become k minus 3. Correct? Yeah. So k minus 3 is equal to 8. Yeah? Yeah. K minus 3 is equal to 8. 8 and 3 is 11. So 11 minus 4 is? Yes. I, I missed that. Because you have to do A1 plus A2. Yes. Good sum, I think so.